Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, finally, we're doing uh, Hunter x Hunter Union Arena. Finally got it. Well, not finally. It's only been a couple days. Not even that bad. But, you know, I, I did, unfortunately. I don't know if you saw some of my previous videos where I mentioned Bleach for Un Union Arena. But, uh, unfortunately, we did, uh, we did get a little flabbergasted because I got that dreaded. If you played any or especially One Piece, if you play One Piece, you you know the dreaded allocations email. I got that shit. Unfortunately, my one case got delayed to wave two, maybe. So it's not even a guarantee that I'll get it in wave two, but at least I'm willing to wait until wave two. Obviously, uh, hopefully things so. <laughs> they send a lot more. Hopefully I'm able to get it. If not, then RIP, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do, but hopefully we are, fingers crossed. We'll see, but if you're interested in Bleach, Definitely hit the subscribe button if you're interested in part two of this one. I do have, uh, I think, two more boxes. I was going to open two on video. So if you're interested, definitely hit the subscribe button, show the support. And yeah, definitely stay tuned for that uh, Bleach one. I think for Bleach, I will be getting a case again, but I don't think I'll be opening it on video. I don't think I have. <laughs> Imagine 16 boxes. I don't even know how long that would take, bro. But yeah, no, I don't think I'll be doing that on video. I'll probably just doing the usual two videos and then maybe I'll do a third recap video for the whole case, right? Like if you're maybe in case you're curious, what do you get in a case? But we'll have to see. Very excited to see you, Hunter x Hunter. Let's check it out. What the hell? Oh, his face. What the hell is this? I was gonna say Hunter x Hunter is one of those animes that I just that I know has a very, very large following and it's I don't wanna I don't know if mainstream, but it's definitely very well known. And I just haven't seen it, unfortunately. I just never got around to it. Kind of like One Punch Man or uh, Code Geass. I just never really got around to watching them. What is this? Oh, what the hell? We're starting off with an SR. Very, very nice. Nothing crazy, but I'm very curious, actually. Since it is only 16 packs, how many SRs are we going to get? Yeah, let's find out. We got Finks, Hunter License, Neon, and Kurapika. Nice. Let's separate the rest on the uncommons and the commons. Trust me, just always do it. Especially if you list a lot on TCU player. My goodness, it saves you so much time to find them. Trust me, you it nothing sucks more than when someone orders like 20 orders and you don't know where you even start looking for them. What is this? Look at this. His Soka. Rare This is a oh yeah, he has the star, so it must be an altered. Nice. So it is following the the one piece. Uh, format very very nice with the little star like that i think actually digimon also does that so never mind because i think digimon is older so technically digimon it's following the digimon format my bad but hey very very nice <coughs> <coughs> no nice i must be getting sick dude it literally it barely starts getting cold and i'm already getting sick nice <laughs> that fucking sucks jesus christ i can't even, i can't wait for winter this is gonna absolutely suck but anyways yeah no i never got around to checking it out i do recognize that character well the characters i recognize these three literally that's it i know this is Killua. this is i think his name is gone gone yeah i think it's gone and then obviously i do know hisoka hisoka ironically enough even though I, even I know he's like a full on creep, right? And literally that he's the most I think the most well known, which is kind of hilarious, <laughs> despite being uh, you know full on. You know I can, I don't even know I know I'm a small channel, but I don't even think I can say that, bro. <laughs> I am not risking my channel. I don't want to kill my channel before it even starts. So you know what I mean. If you know, you know. If you don't, then yeah, you know he's just a creep. Let's just leave it at that. But even I know him. I think the only one I know. His full actual ability says Hisoka. I know he has like the bunch. I don't even know if that's his own like only ability. I only know it because I saw the the video anime house from RDC <laughs> from RDC World where they uh, cosplay and they do like funny skits. And they one of them was Hisoka and he does the bunch. You know? so I don't know if that's his. I'm guessing he's not. That's not his own power because that would kind of suck. But that must be one of his main abilities, where he can like bind people and keep them in place. Pretty cool ability. I'm not going to lie, but what else are his? I'm very curious now. What else are his Oka's abilities? Because I think he's the main villain, right? From Hunter x Hunter. Okay, he must be uh, pretty damn powerful. Let's see if we can get anything else. I wonder, do you only get one altar in this one? Because obviously it is 16 packs. So I am very curious if you only get one or two alters. Because usually, obviously, in all Bandai games, you get two, right? 
well, <laughs> I say all Bandai games. For a moment, they're b Battle Spirits, I don't know. But now you do. So you get two SPRs. You get two hits in Digimon, sometimes three EX boxes. Or One Piece, you get two or three hits. So I'm very curious to see if this one is going to be one or two hit box. All right, I guess we'll find out. How are you guys feeling about uh, Union Arena, though? Obviously, in my opinion, this game is going to be a... What the hell? Nice. They gave me all the Hisoka. They said, you know Hisoka, here we go. We'll hook you up with all his shit. <laughs> nice. Hopefully, we can get an even higher rarity of Hisoka. But yeah, no, I'm definitely curious. How do you guys feel about... Uh, what's it called? Uh, the future, the potential of Union Arena, right? As a... As a game, because obviously this game, in my opinion, is going to be a much more collector heavy game just based on it being multiple IP. You're releasing uh, pretty much a set like every month. It's a lot for players to normally keep up with. So a lot of these games end up falling into the more collector side, right? So I'm very curious. Where do you guys see it ending up? I do think just because it's a Bandai game that it does have the and I don't want to spend too much time talking about wise comparisons because I maybe I'll just do it I'll talk more about it in the second video I don't want to distract too much from from you know Hunter X Hunter and the opening but oh what is this we have gone f uh Frex oh okay Freaks how do you say his I'm not gonna try to say his last name we are gone the protagonist there you go that's a protagonist speaking of but yeah no how do you guys feel about being a more collector heavy game do you guys think that it has a future with locals do you guys think that it's maybe not gonna be a hit with players kind of like wise where it's super hard to find you know like locals for it, realistically speaking and you're kind of just relying on the big tournaments which kind of sucks right when you can't just go to locals and pop in and you know obviously not i'm not saying every night find a game but at least like one night a week right like digimon usually has a night a week in most tcg in most lgs's or One Piece, obviously, probably more One Piece being as hot as it is right now. But you know you'll find games, right? Especially being the same company, Bandai. I really do hope that it uh, it ends up being player-friendly, right? It doesn't end up pushing most players away just because of that uh, more collector-heavy nature. So I'm very curious where do you stand on that. Or do you guys don't even think that's going to be a problem? Again, it being a Bandai game, it naturally is going to attract a lot of people who are reading to other Bandai games. So I do think those people are going to give it a chance. And since those people are mainly players, they actually are going to care more about the actually playing. And... Nice. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh, that was bound to happen. It's okay. Well, it fi thankfully, they landed on just the... Uh, what's it called? The, the comments or the uncomments. So it shouldn't be that bad, but Jesus Christ. I see that's what happens when oh wait they actually landed in this one it should be fine yeah it looks fine that's what happens when you uh when you put off stuff for too long I keep saying yeah okay I'll clean it next time yeah look at what happens we got Franklin Killua Poco I'm just trying to see <laughs> oh my goodness where else they fell okay they didn't fall in other uh, anywhere near expensive cars so we should be good so just a little mishap just don't worry about it I would say I would edit it out, but I'm pretty sure I won't. So, RIP, you'll get to see that. That reality is of, uh, of uh, openings. Sometimes accidents happen. I got this. One time in one of my openings, actually, I was recording. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. I was recording, I think it was a Dragon Ball one. And my cat, uh, who rest in peace, he passed away uh, this previous year. But my cat literally jumps in the table mid-video. It was so funny. It was like, what the fuck? It just comes out of nowhere. And there's just suddenly a white cat and they have a big ass white fluffy cat on the table. It was so funny. But oh man, that was I, I guess now we we get that with my dog if she starts barking or she starts doing her weird noises. But hey, so far it hasn't happened. So hopefully it won't happen. But man, yeah, no. Sometimes this opening say they shit goes crazy, man. But going back to Hunter X Hunter and the whole collector thing with Weiss or I guess the comparison, it's like comparison, obviously, I, again, I don't want to make the whole video about it, but I do think it is an interesting point, right? Because that's why I think uh, Wise kind of struggles to find players because it's just so leaning into collectors that a lot of players just kind of feel pushed away. And I do hope that, and it does seem that, again, just there seems to be a pretty healthy interest in terms of players. In when it comes to Union Arena, I'm looking at the Facebook group, I'm looking at the 
you know, just a Reddit, I'm looking at YouTube videos. There does seem to be a healthy interest on the meta on cards and deck building. So that's good. I like to see that. So hopefully we uh, we get to see more of that, right? As we progress the game. And obviously as more product becomes available, because right now it's uh, it's actually not that bad. I, I was going to say it's pretty bad, but it's actually not that bad because I think boxes are going for like 70, 72, right? Which is below MSRP technically. <laughs> so it should be fine because I think MSRP is technically $80. But obviously, again, nobody's going to feel good paying $80 for a box with 16 packs, right? So you can you should, you can find it a bit cheaper and you can right now. So 72, you can probably find it on maybe the Facebook group or something for $70, right? But again, we'll have to see. Oh well, yeah, I can actually confirm that with you guys. Once I do the bleach one, we'll, we'll have to see the whole case ratios and we'll have to, I'll compare it to other videos that I find out there and see if, like what I come up with and see if we have a, you know, pretty accurate representation of what, what you can kind of expect. And if it's going to be a problem, like in white Schwartz, where you can kind of fish for specific hits and just, you know, dump the rest. So that might be a problem. That's definitely something that I'm kind of curious about, because if it is a problem, it's going to lead to pretty much you not being able to buy from TCU player, not being able to trust. And that kind of sucks. In my opinion, not being able to trust who you buy from is probably one of the worst things because you're always going to be, if you don't get something, you're going to be salty. You're going to be trying to blame them when realistically speaking, it more than likely is just luck. But again, just because the game and the whole case hits and how it works, just because of how collector heavy it is, where most cards are just not, at least in Weiss, right? I'm speaking Weiss right now, where since most cards are just not worth anything, like double rares, which are supposed to be the highest rarity unique ones, because triple rares obviously are uh, alt darts, right? They're not unique. Double rares are the highest unique rarities. And most of the time, they're not really worth anything. So boxes are very hard to justify, except, again, if you get a case, you you open until you hit that sign card, right? And then you can dump your boxes. So hopefully, again, that's kind of why I was touching on the whole playability thing, because if there's a lot of players interested in the game, guess what? Super rares, which are obviously going to be the highest unique rarity cards, are going to be valuable, which is good for the box and for the overall uh, box opening experience and health of the game, in my opinion, right? So... Very interesting about that. We can talk more about that in the <laughs> wise comparison video, but it is something that I definitely am concerned of and something that I'll uh, confirm once I open my case with Bleach, right? Something that we can talk about and we can resume the conversation there once I have more information on it. But hey, we'll see about that. Let's see. Oh, I got so excited for nothing. <laughs> God damn it. You, uh, you teased me. You in an arena. God damn it. Biscuit's training. Netero. Gentoo, nice. Move on, final pack. I'm not expecting anything. So this kind of sucks. This does seem that it's going to be a one-hit box, which again, you're only getting 16 packs. So am I surprised? No, but it does kind of suck. Yeah, right, yeah, okay. Because that does mean even you're going to have to... Well, I mean, realistically speaking, I feel like at this point, most people are savvy to the point where, that you should not buy just loose packs online, but... Yikes, with this, this is definitely going to ensure that uh, you don't want to buy loose packs. Because obviously, I mean, you, we saw it right here, right? For example, I hit my Hisoka, which is obviously my the one hit, assuming this is the standard one hit at box. I hit my Hisoka pretty much, what, like five packs in? If I wanted to, technically, I could say, okay, I already hit my best hit. I'm going to take all these 10 packs. And dump them on eBay. So I think I do think at this point more, most people are wised up to the fact that you shouldn't do buy those. But just be careful out there. Obviously, uh, unfortunately, when you do only get one hit, it can lead to a lot of that, right? Like for example, Battle Spirit Saga. In my opinion, that's something that really dampened the excitement. That you at first used to only get uh, the one SPR, and you got it immediately, and it was like, well, I'm not really expecting anything else at this point. So. That kind of sucks, but I, again, with this game, I can at least understand it because it's 16 packs. Battle Spirit Saga, for whatever reason, it was 24 packs and they just did that. So that was why I was so disappointed. In this game, I kind of expected it. And if anything, it's a little bit more generous than uh, White Schwartz because White Schwartz, I think, gives you... They only give you 
and you're not actually yeah you're not even guaranteed with white shorts uh a triple rare so yeah it's way better than white shorts there you go so there's that let me see my uh top five before i let you guys go i'll just do it really quick don't worry about it i won't keep you guys here for too long okay let's do this uh i guess i have to give a shout out to this one okay there we go. Let's do this. Number one, and I know <laughs> it's gonna sound so wrong, but number one is Hisoka. Well, it is, but no, I know he's a creep. I know he's weird. I know, but hey, his design is pretty cool. Just look at that. I really like his, his little teardrop. I think that's kind of funny. And then he has like a little star. So I think that's pretty neat. And he has the whole, uh, the symbols of the card thing going for him. I think that's pretty neat. Look at that. Very, very cool. Then we have gone the protagonist. I had to give a shout out to our boy, the protagonist. So again, I don't even know what his power is. I, I actually have no idea. Like I'm trying to guess based off of it. Is he just like super strong? No way, right? I feel like in anime, everyone's super strong. So that's such a lame power usually. Like in Bleach, there's this girl who I think her name is Meninas, right? Meninas. She's a stern reader. She's a Quincy. And that's her whole power. And she's probably one of the weaker ones. So. I really hope that's not his only power, but I'm very curious on what his power. Obviously, you can tell like this one. That's why I was kind of trying to tell. Because obviously, you can tell this electricity. That was pretty cool. But anyways, yeah. We have to give a shout out to the three box art characters. We got Killua, we got Gon, and then we got uh, Hisoka. Obviously, my favorite being Hisoka. So we're going we're gonna to put Hisoka twice in the top five. We're cheating a little bit, but hey, screw it. I did have to give a shout out to this SR. It's very unique ones. It, has, it seems to have like his name and everything. Look at that. Very, very nice. I, what the hell? I didn't even realize that was his uh, torso. What the hell? Is that an outfit? Or... Yeah, right. Yeah, that must be an outfit. Because that looks weird. So, And then we have to give a shout out to an action point. I don't even know what action points do. I don't even know what it is. But, hey, it does look pretty cool. Look at that. And then we have to give a shout out. Wait. Okay, this was number five. And then for the honorable mention... We have to give a shout out to Trollo. I have no idea who you are, but that, I really like the design. The only thing I don't like about this character is the cross in the forehead. I mean, Jesus Christ. That looks just uh, a little bit weird, but I don't know about that. Other than that, it looks pretty cool. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, first opening for you in Arena. Obviously, like I said, I didn't want to delve too much into the Wise comparisons because in my opinion, it is actually pretty similar to Wise. Obviously, it does have a lot of differences, some of which I uh, touched upon in this video like the whole it's a bondi game so i do think it has higher potential for a player base uh the ips being a lot more in my opinion valuable just in general uh, and just yada 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 right so if you're interested in the whole case ratio thing obviously stay tuned for the bleach thing definitely hit the subscribe button again i will be opening a bleach case entirely so i'll be doing the two openings and then hopefully a third video recapping the entire thing and addressing the case ratios and uh you know all that good stuff right so hopefully I'll see you there. If you're interested in part two, again, I'll probably try to just record it right now, get it out of the way, but definitely show support and I'll do my best to drop it as soon as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if I give a shout out to the fact that we have the entire Union Arena setup. I think I did in the beginning. If I didn't, I'm sorry, but hey, we got the pre-release decks. We got the, the starter decks. We got the playman and have storage for both. So we went crazy with the Union Arena release. Hopefully you guys enjoy Union Arena, gave it a chance either for Bleach, either for Hunter x Hunter, which one was your favorite, which one did you get, let me know, did you get anything good, hey, see you.